Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. I would love to wish you guys a happy new year. I hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed. If there's something you guys want to react, want me to react to, please drop the link in the comment section below. I'll be more than glad, really, really glad to react to what you guys suggests and um a big shout out to everyone that watches our videos and the people that keep on subscribing you guys are the best you can find us on instagram as funny and jesse facebook as funny and jesse and you can check out my blog morning coffee with funny and just enjoy the content i'll be putting out there and the content that i think i want to be posting this year so yeah, today I'm going to be reacting to a young black African asks, did that, why did God create black Africans to suffer? Hmm. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. The second question is there. Your second a little louder, a little louder. The second question is there. Why are we, we, we hear that and the Bible tell us that God created a man? And so all the, we have a different, different nation here, population here. So now, why did God allow allow blacks to 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 be suffer? Yes. Now I will explain. I will explain that. You see, go, it's the creation is a creation of God, but mankind he creates his own standards of judging. Like for example. We are told by certain groups of churches that the black people of the earth are the children of Ham. You see, Noah, Noah, you heard the name Noah after the flood. In the Genesis chapter 9, you read Noah after the flood, him and his three sons, Sam, Ham, and Japheth, they started growing grapes. And from the fruit of the vine, they fermented the wine. And Noah drank too much. And he was lying naked. I'm reading this from the book of Genesis, chapter 9. And out of his three sons, Sam, Ham, and Japheth, Ham, Ham saw his father's nakedness. You know, sprawled out on the ground naked. And it was a big joke for him. So he laughed. Who laughed? Ham. You know how you spell Ham? H-A-M, Ham. Ham. H-A-M, Ham, you also spell for that piece of pig. See? You know the Englishman, he loves ham and eggs. Ham and eggs. How do you spell ham? <laughs> That's right. So this person's name was Ham, one of the sons of Noah. His name was Ham. And he saw his father's nakedness and he laughed. Big joke. The other two sons, they felt remorse, ashamed of the father's condition. So they took a piece of cloth and they walked backwards and they covered up the father. The father, in the meantime, he knew what was going on, but he was too dead drunk to do anything about it. But when he came into to his senses, he began to curse. And you remember the curse? He said, Curse be Canaan, for a servant of servant thou shalt be unto thy brother. You attend Bible class, don't you? You remember this? Curse be Canaan, for a servant of servant thou shalt be unto thy brother. So they tell us in a system, they say that we black peoples of the earth are the children of Ham. That fellow who behaved like a pig, laughed at his father's nakedness. So as such, we are to become the hewers of wood and the drawers of water. So they want to see to it that you, you keep to your role. Your role is sweep the streets, carry the rubbish bin, work in the factories, whatever. This is your menial labor that is your destiny. Now, this is the invention of man. See, man's own invention. God didn't make you so. He, as we are told, that he made us in his image. He made everybody upright. He says, he the Lord had made man upright. Upright means straight, going straight. So, the invention of man, the devilishness in man, is finding excuses to how I can discriminate against you, create theories, weave stories, fairy tales, and around these fairy tales, I find justification for keeping you down. Now, the Holy Quran, 
this book of God, the Quran, our religious book, it gives us an explanation of the theory of race. And I would like you to judge whether it answers the problems of mankind or not. It says, and I'm quoting in Arabic, the original, and I give you the translation. It says, Ya Yohannas, say, O mankind, the whole of mankind, whether Africans, Indian, Chinese, Eskimo, everybody. Ya Yohannas, O mankind, inna khalaknakum min dhakarim wa unsa. It is we, God Almighty says, we who have created the male and the female. We have created you all of a single pair, a male and a female. Wa ja'annakum shu'uban wa qabaila. And it is we who have made you into nations and tribes. What for? To discriminate against one another? No. It's the lita'arafu, that you may recognize one another. This Mr. John is a Zulu. That Mr. John is a Khaza. That Mr. John is a Swazi. That Mr. John is an Englishman. That Mr. John is a Frenchman. That Mr. John is a German. For the purpose of recognition, he has made you into nations and tribes. But since man has a sickness, or wanting to discriminate on false premises. So God Almighty gives us the standard. We all have a tendency to behave like that. All. There is no exception. There is no nation on earth who is an exception to this rule. That everybody wants to create standards of judging other people as inferior to themselves. You said the African just now. And I accept that the African is in the South African context. He is at the lowest rung of the ladder economically, educationally, in the professions, he is at the bottom run. That's we have to agree. But now among the Africans, we have Zulus. I was questioning the students. I says, are you all Zulus? The majority way. Some said, no, she is a Khaza. Somebody said something, Chwana. But now the majority of the people that are here in this institute are Zulus. Am I right? Right. Now ask the Zulu. Ask the Zulu, what is Zulu? Is Zulu. What does it mean? Is Zulu. The heavens. No? Is Zulu. You are the heavenly people. Is Zulu. Hmm? Yes. That's in your mind. Is Zulu. We are the topmost people. Among the Africans, who is the greatest tribe? The warrior nation? The topmost nation, your title, the name, your name of your, your race is also Izu, Zulu. Agunjalo? Izulu. And what about the others? What do the Zulu say? Isilwane. Am I right? What does he say about the others? The Khaza, the Swazi, the Chwana, what are they? Isilwane. No, this is the nature of man. Everybody. The Arab said, he said, I'm the Arab means we are the eloquent people and the rest of the world is ajam, meaning dumb. The Jews said we are the children of God and the rest of them are Gentiles. You know, Jews and Gentiles. What is Gentile? Means unclean, filthy, dirty people. All the rest of the world, uncircumcised. Filthy, dirty people. This is the nature of man. Every human being on earth, whether he's an Indian, whether he's a European, whether he's an Englishman, he feels better than the German. The German feels he's better than the French, and the French feels he's better than the Italian. So this is the nature of man. So God Almighty, God Almighty, he gives us a standard. See, since man has the sickness of creating false standards for himself, this creator, God himself, he gives us a standard of judging between people. And the judgment is, it says, Inna akramakum in Allahi atkakum. So most certainly, the noblest in the sight of God is He who is the best in conduct. Not good or bad, not rich or poor, not black or white, but the best in conduct. If your behavior is better for mankind than mine, you are a better person. If my behavior is better than yours for mankind, then I'm a better person. It has got nothing to do with your race, your language, your color, or your riches. This is the standard as given by God Almighty in the Holy Quran, standard of judging between one and another. Your behavior, your conduct, your good behavior. Any other question? What a beautiful video. And I love the way he answered it. It's all a system. We've been conditioned 
so a system has, in, has been placed in place and we've been conditioned to feel like black people are lower than others like black people are supposed to do the worst of jobs like black people are not supposed to be successful like black people are just not su supposed to succeed at anything which is really really sad if you're out there and you feel like that then don't then don't because i remember we were talking should be our last videos on this channel i'm not even sure we we're talking about power of the mind if you believe you can make it in life then you're going to make it in life if you believe you can break what you believe is generational cases then best believe you can do that if you believe um you're going to be rich you're going to be rich don't let anyone tell you otherwise don't let anyone pull yourself um your esteem down don't let anyone just tell you that you can't do this but you can do this you can't be a ceo of a company but you can be um a garbage collector you can't be uh you can't own your own company you can't um have buildings but you can be um the person that walks my dog or the person that feeds me just don't let anyone tell you what to be be what you want to be let the people that have the best interests um guide you don't just um i don't know just don't listen to people like he said it's in human nature to think that oh i'm better than this tribe or oh, we're better than people from this country or oh, this this that all oh, these people are filthy let's not let what other people think um be the way we live our lives that's why i always say don't always believe everything you watch don't always believe everything you listen to it's a system they're trying to control you a system is set so that they control you they're controlling how you think or how you see yourself which is very very sad otherwise love this video very informative something a lot of us will will and can learn a lot of things from this video let me know what you guys think about what uh ami did that had to say uh drop a link in the comment section below if you want me to react to something and i'll do it make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video